There's something I do sometimes, I'm not gonna do it today, but you're just gonna have to use your imagination. If I brought 10 children up here on the stage, don't know them, but I started handing out money, there would not be one of them that would refuse to take it. They wouldn't be suspicious. Not one would tell me they don't deserve it. Are you there? And they would receive it, and I've watched them do it. They receive it with joy. Amen? And I believe that we would live a more excited life and enjoy our lives more if we learn how to receive from God on a daily basis everything that he's trying to give us. Is anybody home in the house today? Oh my goodness, receive the goodness of God. Ask him, God, be good to me today. And tell him, I know I don't deserve it. And that's the really good part. I don't deserve it, I can never deserve it, but you are good. When Jehoshaphat was in battle and all of these different enemies were coming against him and he did not know what to do and he actually said to God, we don't know what to do and even if we did, we're not strong enough to do it, but God, our eyes are on you. You don't have to know what to do. You just need to know the one who knows what to do. And they stood and they waited on God. And what does the word wait mean? To wait expectantly, except expecting something good to happen at any moment. And as they waited, God spoke, the battle's not yours, but mine. And then, he told them what to do. Go out, take your position, stand still, see the salvation of the Lord which he will work for you today. Well, Jehoshaphat's position was to bow down, put his face on the ground, and worship. But while he did that, he sent out singers to sing, and what they sang was, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. They were expecting God to do something. They were expecting God to deliver them from their enemies and they weren't particularly worried about whether or not they deserved it. They just wanted to be delivered. And guess what? The enemy got so confused that the Bible says they killed each other. Come on, you wanna confuse the devil? Just go ahead and be happy when you have no reason to be. Just go ahead and enjoy your life while you have a problem that God's working on. You can't solve your problems, but God can. And whatever your problem is, he's working on it right now. While you're in here having a good time, God is busy working on your problem. to receive, to act as a receptacle and just take in what's being offered. God, I receive your favor today. Favor is so much fun. Favor is getting the best table in the restaurant. Favor is a clerk pulling out a coupon that you didn't know existed <laughs> that gives you $20 off your purchase. They didn't have to do that, but God gave you a little wink and said, I'll give you a favor. 
Come on. Stuff like that can happen to you all the time. And that's what becomes the fun part of your relationship with God. It's not about just these and thousands and those and, you know, trying to sound religious when you pray and making sure you follow all the laws and rules and regulations. <laughs> I love it when somebody, you know, when they start to pray, they become a totally different person. Oh, thou holy. Oh. And I'm not, I'm not making fun of anybody, but I'm just saying, just be who you are. 